Hi everyone, Kyle here from Redis Labs. Today we're going to be talking about scaling up from Redis Open Source to Redis Enterprise. If you've been using Open Source Redis for a while, you might think a lot about the day when you run out of RAM. With Redis Enterprise, you can scale both outwards and upwards with minimal disruption to your application. Here's our example setup. We'll be serving up Project Gutenberg eBooks, each at their own key in Redis. I would call them medium-sized keys weighing between 700 kilobytes and 3 megabytes. We're using a small Node.js application that just reads a couple of keys from Redis and then sends them out to the user. Let's try adding a new book. We'll see that it triggers an out-of-memory error. That's not good. Let's take this opportunity to scale up to Redis Enterprise. I have a small cluster with three nodes. I'll be setting up a cluster database with two shards and we'll turn on replication for a total of four shards. The last node will be used for quorum. This setup will enable me to achieve greater performance by spreading out the workload of reading these weighty values. Each shard acts as its own server behind Redis Enterprise's zero latency proxy. In addition, we can easily add more nodes and shards as our data continues to grow. Since we're working on an enterprise cluster, growth will be painless. More storage and computational power is only a few mouse clicks away. Let's set up replica of to extract data from our current Redis instance. First, we will select our database and then go to the Configuration tab. Scroll to the bottom and click Edit. Then tick the Replica of box. Next, I'll click the plus icon to give me a place to enter my connection and credential information as a URI. Then I'll click the Save icon. Finally, I'll scroll all the way to the bottom and click Update. Now our data is being copied over to the new cluster while the old instance is still active. If we had further changes to the old instance's data, it will be copied over to the new cluster. This allows us to minimize any downtime. Okay, now that the data has been replicated, we can turn off replica of on the new cluster. And now we'll swap over the connection configuration in our app. Now you can add much more data to your database and your performance will go up to boot. It's that easy. Adding more nodes or shards is just a point and click operation and your application configuration doesn't need to change again. It's connected to the power of the Redis Enterprise cluster. If you have any further questions about how Redis Enterprise can help you scale, contact expert at redislabs.com.